Evening, we begin tonight with breaking news. You'll only see it here. CNN's Pamela Brown and Caitlin Collins have just learned that President Trump demanded a security clearance for his daughter Ivanka over the objection of two top advisors, one of them retired four-star general. For the president, though, family came first, just as it reportedly did for his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Special treatment by all appearances for both. CNN's Pamela Brown joins us now with details. So what have you learned? Well, Anderson, we've learned that President Trump pressured his then Chief of Staff John Kelly and White House Counsel Don McGahn to grant his daughter and senior advisor Ivanka Trump a security clearance against their recommendations. This is according to three people familiar with the matter speaking to me and my colleague Caitlin Collins. Well, as you know, the president has a legal authority to grant clearances, but most instances are left up to the White House Personnel Security Office, which would then determine whether a staffer should be granted one after the FBI conducts a background check. But after concerns were raised by the personnel office, President Trump pushed Kelly and began to make the decision, saying things like, it's no big deal, they'll probably be leaving soon, going back up to New York, so that it didn't appear that the president himself was tainting the process in his family's favor. Now, after both refused, Trump granted the security clearances, uh, according to sources we've been speaking with. And of course, this development comes on the heels of the New York Times reporting, Anderson, that Trump ordered Kelly to grant Ivanka's husband, Jared Kushner, a top security clearance. Despite concerns raised by intelligence officials, uh, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says the White House cannot comment on security, security clearance issues, nor can it respond to every anonymous source. Kelly could not be reached for comment and McGahn declined to comment for the story, Anderson. But uh, let's just remind, Pamela, our, our viewers uh, of what Ivanka her, Trump herself said just last month about security clearances. The president had no involvement pertaining to my clearance or my husband's clearance. So uh, that's, I mean, it's the exact opposite of what you've learned, right? It is the exact opposite, but several sources tell us, Anderson, that it is feasible that Ivanka was unaware of the, the red flags that were raised during her background check process, as well as the president's involvement in it. A person familiar with her process, she said that she did not seek nor have outside con counsel involved in her process as no issues were ever raised. And then a separate person added that she was notified by career officials that her clearance had been gr granted. Now, we should also note just because concerns are raised about a person getting a security clearance, it doesn't mean that person did anything nefarious. And we do not know what the precise concerns were in this case. Also, typically people aren't notified if there are red flags in their background check. Usually they're just told either you have a sec security clearance or you didn't get one. It is noteworthy, though, Anderson, that the president himself denied to the New York Times several weeks ago that he ever got involved with the security clearance for, for Jared uh, or his family. And then he even claimed that he didn't know whether he had the authority to grant clearances. Yeah. Anderson. Uh, Pam Brown, uh, great reporting. Thank you. Pam just yeah. mentioned this comes on the heels of that New York Times reporting that the president intervened in Jared Kushner's clearance. One of the reporters on that story is Maggie Haberman, who's also a CNN political analyst. She joins me now. Maggie, you were in the Oval Office interviewing the president in late January. He clearly lied to you about not being involved with Jared Kushner's security clearance. Did Ivanka Trump's security clearance come up? I didn't ask him about her security clearance, but remember, these two were, were pretty closely linked. Um, and some of the delays in her security clearance, some, I don't think all, had something to do with her husband's because uh, married couples tend to uh, be linked together, uh, although this was an unusual circumstance in this White House, obviously. It's not a surprise. He was much more focused, as I understand it, and as, as uh, Pam's reporting suggests, on Jared Kushner's clearance, that that was really his focus in part because Jared Kushner had this portfolio, has this portfolio, that deals with a lot of sensitive global issues. Um, Ivanka Trump, however, also was under this same limbo uh, status, and I think that it bothered both of them. I, you can you can characterize it however you want. You can say that they they uh, complained and pushed the president to do something. You can say, as we wrote, that you know they they, they repeatedly um, made complaints about this to the president, and it might not have been an outright pressure, but just voicing their upset with it. Whatever it was, the president intervened. Uh, it's not a surprise that he did it with hers as well, but it does go to, as you as you noted, a, a real contradiction in what Ivanka Trump said on camera and what the president said. There is a world where it's possible she didn't know. It is not a. You think that world. is possible? It, it is possible, um, but it is it is not likely. Um, it, is, it is, however, hard for me to fathom still why the president not only said to me that he didn't have any involvement in this, but that he didn't think he could legally. 
part, part of CNN's reporting is that Ivanka Trump wanted a high level clearance so that she could study briefing books on foreign trips. What is she, why is she in the White House? Like, what does she actually do? So in terms of foreign trips, it's a great question. I mean, the way that it was described to me by a couple of people who were familiar with the evolution of Jared Kushner's clearance problem. Remember, we were told early on, I went back and looked at this recently, there were reports early on, right after the president was elected, that he wanted his uh, son-in-law and daughter to have high-level clearances. And the president did a tweet, November 16th, 2016, that he wasn't doing that. Another typically false news story. What ended up happening a couple of months later, they joined the White House. Right. They both put in for security clearances. I, the way it was described to me by people who were around at the time was that Jared Kushner sat in on one briefing early on during the transition and and he enjoyed it he he liked being a part of it and and wanted more i think that there is a a addictive quality to having access to this kind of information what exactly uh ivanka trump needs to do with that information is unclear she does have certain programs that she has pushed for that have global impact but those are primarily economic not national security based it, she's still making money though from the hotel from from yeah so uh, okay so yeah, it's going to raise it's right. going to raise a ton of obvious questions yeah. it's going to raise a ton of questions about not actually stepping back from businesses she, she right. she's has, making millions and millions right. a year from the from this stuff correct and it is going to once again raise questions about the fact that the the president and his family who are serving in the government did not really step away from the business and these are just obvious questions right. there is nothing surprising about them well also pamela mentioned that that you know uh, I, I guess based on her reporting that the president had said something like, oh, it's not a big deal. They're going to probably go back to New York soon. If anything, that would be a reason not to grant them right. security clearance, right. that they're just going to quickly go back to New York. They're going to you know, be able to access secrets. They're going to go back to New York and re-engage in the world of business. And Jared Kushner is going to re-engage with the Qataris and the right. Saudis and the Chinese trying to get money to bail out 666, this building that was in trouble for his family. Right. Look, I mean, this is this is why I think that Chris Christie was on this network with Chris Cuomo last week after our story posted, making the point that this is why you don't have. Yes, Chris Christie, obviously, his, his relationship with Jared Kushner is, is legendary, but he made a, a valid point for any administration, which is this is why you do not have family in appointed positions in the White House, because it just clouds the judgment, impacts the judgment on every one of these steps. And you had the president, you know, we had reporting that the president had been uh, complaining about this lack of a security clearance for months around Jared Kushner to White House officials and asking them if there was anything they could do, not just Don McGahn, not just John Kelly, but others. And nobody wanted to get involved in this. The president did not want to directly have his hand in it and ultimately had to. You've been covering, uh, obviously, Donald Trump for decades. Do you get the sense that he uh, understands the presidency isn't supposed to be a family business, or is it just that's the way Trump the Trump organization was, and he sees no reason not to just continue with that. I think it's some combination thereof, and I think that he's a 72-year-old man and he's not going to change, and he doesn't, he, he has a real inability to say no to members of his family, frankly, I think is a, is a big piece of it, and that's, that's what you're seeing here, uh, particularly his daughter, um, and I think that there, this, is, this was just an obvious problem, this was always going to be a problem. The view that Jared and uh, Kushner Ivanka took was that there were not legitimate reasons that their clearances were being blocked, that this was all part of Don McGahn, the White House counsel, and, and John Kelly, the chief of staff, disliking them. And it is certainly true that their relationships with them were toxic by the time this all happened. But wouldn't that have been a reason for them to, to, to sort of, I, I just don't understand the logic under which they would have wanted to prolong this clearance confusion, uh, Don McGahn and John Kelly. It, 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 it's hard to understand what, what planet in which they would be doing this to, to play games. I do know that John Kelly has been accused by others of using the clearance system to go after people he didn't like. And I'm putting all of that aside because there were, there were, there were legitimate issues being raised, as far as we understand it, uh, mm. by the FBI and by others.